From the very beginning, Am Yisrael performed the mitzvah of Netila through the use of a copper cup. However, over the past few generations, the custom to use copper has been lost as people began using less expensive materials. Torah and Kabbalah state that copper has mystical qualities associated with good health, fertility, livelihood, and purity. What is the relevance of copper when it comes to Netila? When you look at the Torah, you'll see that in several instances when Hashem brings up the concept of water and Kiddushah, He incorporates the concept of copper. For example, the Kiyor in the Beit HaMikdash was made of copper. It was Hashem's will that when requesting pure waters, He chose solely copper and not silver or gold like the other utensils in the Mishkan. In addition, in the Beit HaMikdash, King Solomon made a large mikveh made entirely of copper for the Kohanim to immerse in and cleanse themselves from impurity prior to working in the Beit HaMikdash. Why is copper so closely connected to water? The element of copper has several properties that make it ideal. Copper is a natural antibacterial and has what's known as an oligodynamic effect on bacteria, meaning it kills microbes. Copper does not retain any impurity. This is the reason why hospitals use copper for doorknobs in an effort to minimize the spread of germs. Why is this relevant for Natila? As we know, impurity has the ability to cling to anything that is living. Water is a living thing, Maim Chaim. Therefore, when waters are poured into a Natila cup that is not made of copper, impurity is able to cling to it, and so we end up washing our hands with impure waters. However, by pouring the water into a 100% pure copper Natila cup, the copper neutralizes the water, and so the water is no longer living, and impurity has no way of penetrating it. When we wash our hands with water from a pure copper Natila cup, we receive the full and ultimate benefit that was intended by Hashem for performing the mitzvah. Copper therefore acts like a force field, preventing impurity from penetrating. It is for this reason that before the Kohanim performed Avodat HaKodesh, they washed their hands from waters that came from the Kiyor Nechoshet, the copper sink. Since all we create comes from our hands, whether it be business, raising our children, preparing our food, creating. When our hands are purified and sanctified, we infuse that purity and sanctification into everything we touch. Let us return to the original source of purity and begin to once again use a 100% pure copper cup for Natila so that we can fulfill the mitzvah with an ultimate level of happiness and purity and draw into our lives the full gamut of bracha Hashem has intended for us. Natila, a gift for life. A mitzvah for life. Purity begins here.